If you uh, live in the Del or in the uh, Lehigh Valley, yes. you may be aware this is going on. If not, you need to go up to the Lehigh Valley and go to this event that's taking place. If you're into snow sports and all that, you're really going to dig this. Uh, our friends from uh, Buckman's are opening up a new location in Whitehall, and I believe the grand opening is this evening, and they're going to have uh, some guys stopping in and uh, and doing some signings and pictures and all that stuff. In the world of snowboarding, you can't get bigger than these guys' names. Please welcome uh, Dingo, Louis Vito, yeah. Danny Cass, yeah. also. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. This morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good to see you all once again. I get okay. the general feeling, the general vibe that uh, the snow sports are back on the way up again. I mean, people, I, there seems to be a lot of buzz. Press. Hang on. Hang on. We were on the way down. Yeah, yeah, on the way down. Down. What happened? What happened? What? What? Sh- no. Sh- Sean White brought us down. Is that no, what you're saying? No, no. I'm, t- I'm talking. <laughs> really? for, I'm talking for the regular person, not your Sean White. <laughs> Okay, yeah, because he's unregular. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I'm, not human. I'm, I'm talking about your celebrity. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, You, Mr. Yeah. Shades yeah, over yeah, there. Right. Pipe You're... down for a second. <laughs> he's, got his two, uh, he's got his two sons getting involved with it, and they're, they're loving it. Yeah. 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 We, we Can started... I ask a question? Yeah. Do, you, do your sons like Sean White? No, they have no idea who he is. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's cool. no, they, they're like they Barry just, White. <laughs> <laughs> now they just wanted. They just thought boarding was cool, and uh, and they had actually. And I, I wasn't going to push it on them or anything like that because I hadn't boarded in like ten years. I just didn't have the time to do it, and and uh, and just kind of fell out of it. And my son was like, "I want to give this a try," and I'm like, "All right, okay, we'll go out." So we went out, and you know, instead of just going out and buying equipment and doing, we went out and rented one day, took them out, they had fun. I'm like, "All right, cool, this is something." And they do something in the state of Pennsylvania. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but in fourth grade, you can they, they have to uh, to promote snow sports. You can get a season pass, live passes on almost any mountain in the area and go for free. No way. That's pretty cool. For for real. So I'm like, all right, this is this is perfect. And they they got us hook, line, and sinker. So we went and we got the free lift pass and we just were going out a couple times a week and now I'm back now I went and I went to Buckman's and I got re geared up and and, uh, I'm back into it again, which is awesome. (laughs) I don't know how you guys do what you do, honestly. I I go and I It's amazing. I like to carve a little bit and just have some fun and I find myself once I start getting up to a certain speed, I just get scared. I'm like, dude, you got to <laughs> slow down now or you're going to die. That's great. Do you guys feel pretty fearless? I mean, do you, do you feel like you can just do anything? I mean, you're some of the best, so. Well, I, when when you do things like that, normally you take a slam right after and it brings you back to reality <laughs> right. real fast. So. Right. So just when you get full of yourself is when you, you hit a tree or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, wait, never mind. I'm not invincible. Okay. Well, but I mean, you, you got to carry a bit of that because, you know, it's it, to me, it looks really inviting, but, um, you know, it, it, it's hard to get off the couch. That's yeah. the issue with me. <laughs> yeah, but it's the rush. You yeah. know, I mean, you're kind of building yourself. For us, it's, you know, we feel the fear just like, you know, you feel going fast, but it's always about like trying trying something new for the first time and kind of like conquering, you know, whatever fear that is. Is it how you process it? Like, you, you, I mean, you, you turn it to your advantage because where my inclination would be to sort of ball up and cry, you would probably feed off that. Yeah, you know, you got to let it out. It's yeah, like yeah. pain sometimes is, is, you know, a great outlet for, for whatever, you know. Sometimes but it's, you, but it's, it's also good, good once, you, once you learn, like say you're trying a trick that you're super scared to do and you do it, the reward's so high, the feeling that you have after landing that trick that you know that you're scared to know talking about and big bragging rights yeah, yeah yeah absolutely high fives that's what we live for and i think all three of us that's all we've lived to since we were young kids i yeah. started snowboarding when i was six louis is about the same danny you know 12 10 and both these guys i'm not an olympian but you know yeah. these guys have both competed at the olympics danny's two-time olympic silver medalist and it's that's been our life i i assume from early early on you guys like to push the limits uh yeah for sure i mean you know it's it's definitely, you know, it's got its rewards. You know, there's obviously, you know, a way to make a good living. And then the travel is a huge benefit. I mean, you're kind of going all around the world to these remote places and mountains. And What's the most remote place you've been, where you said, uh, maybe I shouldn't have come here? Um, well, I mean, I, I went to Afghanistan on a USO tour. Oh, that's cool. And that was kind of crazy through doing X Games and stuff. And Wait, they did kinda, you snowboard there? Um, no, I didn't snowboard, but I signed a few snowboards. There was okay. a few soldiers who had their gear there who, like, any time they got a break, they went to go ride wherever. Really? Wow. Have you ever taken a snowboard on anything besides snow? Um, yeah, a few walls, a few windows. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just curious if anybody, like, there was just a real steep hill, grassy hill, and you're like, I'm... I'm going down this thing. Uh, we, you know, in the winter, you know, it melts out, and you can do kind of like ride over dirt and mud, like through the resorts. Yeah. And then, Pond actually, scams. we went to Dubai this year when we were filming for uh, Fuel TV. Yeah. And we did a little sandboarding. 
Oh, really? You can do that? Yeah, but we kind of figured out. Did you out, do any sandboarding, Dan? I don't think you did. I did I did a run. I did one you run sure you did down. A run? His, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> like, when you find a board that you like, is it is it tough to get off that and, and get on a new board or even boots or, or, or whatever? Or you guys if you have, to, always... if you have to change a product you're using because you, you they're now your endorser. Well, a lot of times, you know, when like I've been on Nike snowboarding since they started making boots, and from the beginning, you know, they kind of asked you what you're into, and all the riders got to put in their feedback to okay. make a, a boot that fit everybody. And then with boards, uh, the last com- last company I rode for, I had my own board with them, my own signature board, so I could put in whatever I wanted, you know, how I, how soft I wanted it, the base, the, all the materials. So you're really you're really hands on when, when I mean they're not just slapping your name on it. You're you're part of the design. All the stuff that I do, I, I'm part of a lot of a lot of the design is comes from me. But yeah. um you know some of it I take their feedback because you know that's what they do. That's for what they living. do for a living yeah. But I make my own boards right now so I can actually just ride literally whatever I want from wow. the the glass it's made with to the bases and i mean danny's been doing it for forever i I wrote a lot of his products growing up and you know it's kind of helped me understand what i kind of like because i can just talk to him and be like you know what what'd you do with that boot you know that you had before so is it it kind of uh kind of cool to go into a store and uh, say i'll I'll take a a pair of size nine me's can i get a discount on those (laughs) Um, the cool thing about for me growing up you know doing it was it was like you know the most ultimate weekend you know with your dad or your mom or your friends you know parents and kind of doing a weekend trip you know you're so close to all the resorts around here yeah. in new jersey and vermont and new hampshire it's hey, like poconos too man yeah i mean that's where you're gonna be there. tonight yeah it's a good place to learn i mean i when i first started going out with i have two boys and i was i was like you know concentrating you gotta link your turns you gotta link your turns you know and i, and I just kept kind of pushing that on and then i stepped back i'm like just let them go out there and they'll just, figure it exactly. out exactly after a while they'll figure it out you know hey guys awesome to see you again thanks for stopping yeah, thanks by. for having Thank us you. again have a good time give some love gang yeah. for uh, our friends Danny and Louie and Jingo, and tonight they'll be in Whitehall at the Buck.